How to set a stop limit order on Binance. Now Binance stop limits are extremely important. I personally find them very useful in trading. So let's talk about how to set one up. Now to do this, come up to trade and then go down to classic. And then you are going to be taken to a screen that looks like this. It's going to take a while to load in. And when it does, this may look a little confusing. However, don't worry, I'm going to break all of this down. And honestly, it is not as confusing as it looks. Now to start, off you need to choose the coin that you are going to trade and to select this coin just come over to the search bar on the right hand side and type in the ticker for your coin. Now the ticker is this symbol that is next to it and if you don't know your ticker you can come over to this website called CoinMarketCap search for your coin let's say that i want to trade polka dot and then it's going to give the ticker next to it so the ticker for polka dot is dot once you have this information come back over to binance and you can now search your coin now once you have searched this it is going to give you a few options the main thing that people trade with is USDT or Tether, so I'm going to use Tether in this example. So let's talk about how to set a stop limit. This is the current chart for DOT. You can see that right now Polkadot is trading at $29.50, so if I was to buy it right now, that's where I would buy it. So let's say that I buy DOT right now at $20.50 and I decide that I want to limit my risk. So I decide if Polkadot drops below this area, I'm going to instantly sell here because I don't want to risk it dropping anymore. So to place the stop limit here, I'm going to scroll down to these boxes at the bottom, click on stop limit, and you will notice on this screen, there are three boxes. You have stop, limit, and amount, and I'm going to walk through what all of these mean. Limit is the price that you want to start selling your coin at. So if we use the dot as an example once again, I want to start selling my dot at $26.24. So in this box, I'm going to type 26.24 and this stop limit is the lowest that I will sell it for. Sometimes when you set stop limits, the price moves too fast and your order does not get executed. Adding a stop slightly lower than your limit just means it has more chance to get executed. So I'm going to put this at 26. Finally, we come down to amount and this is where you can enter in the amount of dot that you would like to sell. Let's use this example and I'm going to sell 100% of the dot that I have when price reaches $26.24. Once you are happy with this, you can go ahead and click sell dot and then your order will now be down here in this open order section. You can read this and double check that you are happy with everything it's saying. And once you are, congratulations, you have just set a stop limit on Binance.